How are you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Today I want us to talk about just habituation in general in our lives. We are just habit making machines. No matter what way you look at this and what area of your life you look at, there is a habit mechanism that's trying to turn what you do the most into a habit so that you don't have to think about it too much, right? Um, the reasons why one of the main reasons why we habitualize things is because it's safer to do it. Another reason is that it's, it burns less energy. Uh, your brain uh, burns the most energy out of everything else in your body, right? It's the, the biggest energy suck um, out of everything, out of all your organs. And all this energy is burnt because you're thinking, right? So the least amount of time you can spend thinking about a particular thing then the better you know um, when you think about any skill that you can do in life it's all about habit you know learning how to do one thing and then you get habitual of that and you don't have to think about it anymore you just move on to the next thing you learn the next thing and then eventually it builds up into a massive skill you know it's uh drinking drug use all habitual behavior you know you don't start out being a drug addict you don't you're not a drug addict after five or ten days you're not a drug addict after a year you're an addict after you've done it for so many years and it's become habitualized in your body it's the habit take uh, the habit um, mechanisms kicking in exercise is a habit either not doing exercise or doing exercise you know jumping around skipping running whatever it is that you do you try running um a marathon um without any practice and you won't be able to do it. You know, you kill yourself, but you get into the habit of doing it every day. You consistently do it, consistently practice, and eventually you'll be able to run a marathon. You know, the oldest marathon runner in the world is uh, 102, you know, and he probably didn't run it in three, three hours, but who gives a shit? You ran a marathon, you know, you did a marathon. Um, I find it difficult to walk a marathon, never mind run it. You know, we we habituate the food that we eat, what we eat, how we eat it, you know, how we chew it, how we swallow it. Uh, we habituate how we digest that food and we habituate how it comes out the other end. These are all habitual processes that happen over time. Body gets used to doing thing, uh, things in a certain way, carries on doing it. You know, we habituate our language, both our verbal language and our body language. We tend to say the same words over and over again. We tend to use the same body language. You, you see a lot of people, you know, and they, a lot of expressions with the hands and a lot of people do a lot of facial expressions. Other people don't, you know. Um, you might have a, a tick or a tick in your eye or you might have a certain way that you pronounce a certain word. These are all habits that form over years. You know, it's the same thing with posture. We habituate how we sit, how we move, how we walk, how we stand, how we run, how we skip, how we cycle. These are all habitual things. I mean, a lot of the tension that we find in our bodies is because of bad posture. And bad posture is nothing more than habitual posture. It's the posture that we habitually get into the, the posture that we habitually uh, sit in or stand in and eventually that causes pain and sometimes even the pain is, is habituated you know we don't feel it that much it becomes uh, like a dull aching in the background um, and it's only when something snaps that you really feel it you know so one of the main areas where I would focus all my attention on, most of my attention anyway, would be habitual thinking um, because you can habituate your own thinking very quickly and drive yourself down a dead end where it's very difficult to get out of. It's possible to get out of it, like all habit change. You know, it's all a choice and once you understand um, what you're doing, then you can make a choice. But first you have to understand that you're doing it. So I'm saying is, if you want to make changes in your life, first of all, start looking at the areas in your life where you are habituating um, and notice the habits. Uh, and they're, they're everywhere, you know. Break down the habits. And then, if you've heard me talking 
about habits in general, the only way to break them down is gradually and to replace them with something else. Uh, that's the habit mechanism. You can't have a habit void, you have to, you can't have a behavior void, you have to have something to replace it with. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, I'll leave a comment down below. Um, until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Take care of yourself, onwards and upwards. Good luck.